You're talking to the Rolex wearing diamond ring wearing kiss well, dealer, do it live. Who, wheel it. dealing limousine right jet flying son of a gun yeah, well, do it I'm on a hard time holding these alligators down who, well, do it live. Right. So you are so so really fun yeah. for real and that's all I have to say about that Stuff from my feelings. Don't run away from your 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 feelings. You are really good. Don't run away from your feelings. Don't run away from your feelings. Don't run away from your feelings. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Fool and Folks, episode 26. Not brought to you by anybody yet, but we will be. We're working on Might that. Might as well be High Life. Anybody. High Life Reds city. at this point. I would love Cider Boys. Truly? You know? No. 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 Anyways. No. So if Truly came <laughs> at that. you with like thousands Respawn. of dollars. Yeah, no, like, of no. course I would fucking take it. So Sell out. Right. Hey, look. <laughs> have you guys... Sell out. <laughs> it'd be bringing money to the table, <laughs> all right? Supporting the show. Um... But yeah, thank y'all for tuning in. 26 episode, technically... Yeah, no, no. This is 26. Yeah, keep them more. We're gonna, yeah. So, hey. If y'all were with us last time, we mentioned we were going to do Extraction. And uh, Pineapple Express did not air because I don't think Dennis was on, so he put that in the chat. And then we were going to do Collateral, but then there were some things that happened behind the scenes, and then we had to throw an audible in. People had to get tested. Doctors got called. Right. Every, <laughs> like, things were going on. But um, we're, we, all, we have Honey Boy uh, on the slate for this evening, and man, it was a good selection. I have some thoughts about that movie for sure. Yeah, so, but as we always do, uh, the first half hour is dedicated to gaming news uh, and movie news, but uh, try to keep it gaming because, you know, we review shit the whole show. We try to balance it out here. So, Serge, can you hit my, can you, can 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 you, can you hit my, can you? Oh, it's probably because of this situation here. What's that? No, here. <coughs> oh, my bad. Uh, so, as y'all can tell by the music... It is Apex. This is the Apex house. Two out of the five hosts. <laughs> unless you count six. That's 40%. Yeah, that's 40%. That's, really, that's pretty uh, low. That's a minority. It's <laughs> a pretty good chunk, though. It's not really. Uh, this is our shit. And uh, there, there's a couple of things that we, we want to go over uh, briefly. Um, so, season five has been going down. It's been great. Uh, we finally got to try the uh, PVE, which is Player versus Environment, for those who don't know the acronym. And basically, it's just you and your buddies shooting shit. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. And uh, so far, so good. They've had two two releases, two, two missions, um, and it's also expanding on the characters' lores and shit, which... Um, it's almost like a campaign type deal. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. But to put an actual story for a, a battle royale, I like that idea. Come yeah. be interested. Now you yeah. see that's where I can fuck with the game. Yeah, now. and I think they're slowly. And the thing is, there's talk that the Titans may pop up, as in Titanfall. The right. yeah, they're, same makers crossover. Yeah, there is. Well, because I mean, it's the same universe. Yeah. Um. So see, I didn't know it was the same universe. Oh yeah, yeah. The, the Hammond Corporation plays just like and, Titanfall too. Yeah. Oh shit. Um. And the characters, like some of their armor and the weapons, mm -hmm. um, and now the the monsters or the beasts, mm -hmm. uh, the prowlers is what they're called. These yeah. fucking like lionish. They're like fuck. It reminds me of the things from Ghostbusters. The uh, yeah, uh, the yeah. dog things. Whatever yeah. they are. Yes. Kind of remind me of those. <laughs> they do. So because, and I don't know if we've talked about this here mm. or not, but I think one of the reasons that I was so like on, like I was so off board with Titanfall, the first one, mm. is because they didn't have a story. Mm. And then the second one did, and actually, I found that to be a little bit more enjoyable. Yeah. But Titanfall, I never got into it because of that. Yeah. So the fact that they're bringing all these elements in, and that they're going to have a campaign behind it, that might draw yeah. uh, that I've, might draw, draw in a fresh crowd for sure. I mean, I'm interested already. And the, and the way they're doing it too, I got to give them credit is they're not like here is it all in one shot. Like they're releasing. It's episodic. Yeah. Like you have to get these treasure things that pop out of the uh -huh. chest, the loot chests in the game, and you can only collect one per day. Okay. And you have to get five to activate your next quest, but the next quest won't start till next Tuesday. Ah. Right. And you're right. still collecting them as you go, so right. you don't have to necessarily keep 
Like it keeps adding to your it stacks total. up. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, you can have those in the bank. So whenever the new episode right. drops, you can, exactly. you can cash them out. Okay. So yeah. you can miss a couple of days and still be able to right. do it. Yeah. And there's only 45 chests total, and there's like what still like 80 more days of the the season or some Something shit like, like that. that. Yeah. So and then that theory, you have enough time to do it. But I honestly give them mad props because one. The way they're doing the storytelling, they they the only real visuals they use per se is mm. in between seasons when they do their trailers and shit like that. Yeah. But in the game so far, it's just been text. But even with just the text and a little profile picture of the, I character, mean, even then, that's enough to satiate some people. It, you know, it yeah. it works. Yeah. Is when as the, fans, we can read the text in the characters' voices too, which yeah. is cool. <laughs> and there as you long go. as you're playing it, you yeah, you, easily. That's yeah. the best part. It's so easy to hear. And the, the writing's voices. clever and funny too. Yeah, right. And, and you start to like see a little bit of the interaction between characters, and you're like, wow, that's. It's funny because how uh, Doom Slayer and Isabel kind of yeah. had their little fan, their little bromance. Yeah, uh, there's. Watson, she's this little French girl, mm-hmm. um, and she's basically she can put fences up and shit like electric okay. fences and shit and d up areas. Mm-hmm. And then there's Caustic, this bearded scientist who's fascinated with death. That's mm-hmm. my main, and and it fits like they they have the similar look, they okay. have similar beards. <laughs> Um, but uh, but Your yeah, strong. Yeah, he's like the type. He's like super emo too. You know, like I don't know about emo, just more like angsty, I guess. Yeah, I mean, he he's like. Does if, that speak to you as well, Chuck? What is uh, the? Um, if you're talking about my retail life, then yes. <laughs> what's, the, what's the line like? If you get the kill, I'm glad me watch or whatever, some shit like Damn. that. Damn, oh, I don't remember. So it's like murder cuckold. Yeah, <laughs> like he's he's real like <laughs> fucking ready. You know, he's, he's, he's cold and calculated. Yeah. You know? But the thing is, like in the text in the mission like Watson she gets hurt and uh, almost dies right and he gets like he gets pissed and it's just weird because you're like oh shit and like but even before that Mm. the fans were like you know fan art and shit yeah showing them like being buddy buddy they were standing in shit basically that little bit of humanity behind this cold right so i almost wonder though did they do that because of the fans or was that initially already the idea like it wouldn't surprise me if they were listening to the fans because uh respawn's really good about actually paying attention to what people Mm. say well, all things listen. considered, I mean, there's a bunch of shit that the fans got their way. Yeah. <laughs> hey, and if you give fans what they want, they'll pay for it, you know? Yeah. That's that simple. I mean, the DLC situations with most games, if it's good, fuck it. I'll throw you some bones for that. Like That's what she said. Hey. But <laughs> in the in the in the 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 spirit of Apex, though, I brought up one because there's been some bullshit going on in the higher ranked echelons of the game. So, because mind you, this is getting to the point where there's championships coming up now, like tournaments, Mm -hmm. that these cats are going to be able to win, like, six figures. Like, legit fucking, like, big deal shit, right? Lance looking at you for a third. You want to go for that money? Anybody. Mm -hmm. Uh, Look, so... I mean, if that campaign jumps on, bro. Yo, (laughs) I'm telling you, like, here's the thing, though. The top, like, uh, six players or top two teams Mm -hmm. were teaming within the game. Mm Mm-hmm. So basically, making sure that they don't fight each other, mm-hmm. they just fight everybody else. Nice. And like a lot of like m- more play. Like I'm on team. Like I don't think that's cool. Like fight it out. Don't give a fuck. I mean, that's gaming the system, dude. Literally right. and figuratively. You know, right? Like so. it's a bunch of shit. It like, is. People would do that. <laughs> you know, like I get it. I get that side of the argument. Mm-hmm. You know, like fuck it. I'm trying to. If I got the rules where I can bend them a little bit to win. And it's okay. I mean, that's gamesmanship in a way, dude. Like, you know, if you're going to, if you two are like the top kick, then yeah, fucking get everybody else out of the way. And then you two go at it, you know? Right. Is it fucked up? Yes. But I mean, if there's no rule against it. Right. Then, you know, people are just upset that they may have not thought about it first or that, right. you know, that strategy upset well, some people, you see, know? We're a little bit biased because we've had those situations where it's the top three mm-hmm. or last three. And we're, all right, let's go third party this team because that's, you know, good source of winning in that game. Yeah. And all of a sudden, the other two squads just turn on us. Oh, okay. It's just, all right, well, that just happened. You yeah. Know, yeah. Fucked out of They're nowhere. like, fucking leave us alone. All right. And it's like, <laughs> yo, what I the thought, fuck? Thought, so maybe what you guys need is a better team. Which right. Work this shit and out. And that's with. the thing. Like, I can, I can agree. Like, there's a, there's a, a little bit of get good. Mm-hmm. There is a little bit of that, mm-hmm. yeah. but it's also like, but you're talking about like top players. That's like legit. That's like the Mannings and the Brady's going to fucking throw footballs. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And that's like having them on different teams, but on the same team. 
Right. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, if they played against each other and they mm. didn't play necessarily their hardest, yeah. and they weren't out there to knock some motherfucking heads yeah. like you're supposed to in yeah. that in that mindset, mm. like, if you're on that defensive line, you don't give a fuck who's there. Yeah. You're just trying to protect your team. Yeah. So, in that same... Offensive line, by the way. Yeah. Defensive and offensive. <laughs> defensive and offensive. No, offense protects, defense attacks. So. Either way. Go I'm, sports, ball. Go ball. sports. I, I, I know. I, I'm picking up. Go sports. sports. Don't, don't forget, let shit slide. No. And that's fine. And that's fine. I mean, we're keeping it claro here, bro. So. Go local team. Go sports. Um, you know, yay. But go ahead, but man. Continue. It's the, it's the same idea, you know. It's the same idea. All right. Just like LeBron has a job. Uh-huh. Pippen had a job. Mm. Everybody has their job. Yo, shout out to Scotty Pippen's hairline. You know? I will not stop saying that shit, dude. That <laughs> man has the strongest fucking hairline. He might have lost his money. He got washed, but that hairline strong. Shout out to you, Scotty. But <laughs> I, I just feel like in a situation like that, it's, it's a royale. You know, mm-hmm. you, you're, I don't know. I, I kind of I'm team like yo, just fucking da- go at it. Yeah, like, go go against everybody. And if y'all happen to can keep hitting at the last yeah. then y'all keep hitting at the except left. there's that one or i don't know if it's technically one squad but uh there's two groups of people uh squads that actually run together all in purple wearing the same things mm. they make it so obvious that they're working together mm-hmm. right and you can even see videos of them running around the map together not mm-hmm. attacking each other you know yeah. that's just not fair mm-hmm. yeah it's it, it it'd be it'd be one thing if it's mid fights like down the road in the match yeah. but to start a match knowing specifically like yeah they're yeah. all gonna land in and the same keep spot in mind and too if the, i don't know how the comm situation works mm-hmm. in in the the preliminaries of getting to that point to mm-hmm. where you're like yo y'all can get an invitation to these tournaments or whatever yeah. but i would assume there's no real regulation on that so you can be on comms mm-hmm. with these people too and you see so then that's more uh addre- that should be addressed towards the league than mm. the player then you know mm. because if the league's allowing this type of shit then like you know i think like now here's i guess this is where maybe some of your outrage comes from both of you guys mm. if the league isn't allowing other teams or lesser performing teams to do this shit then that's not fucking cool right if if they're allowing other teams to go with this then you know what that's fair game you know and it's the other the other side of the coin though too on that mm. is how do you how do you stop it? Like, how do you be like, well, I mean, because think about Discord. Mm-hmm. Everybody has, can di- get Discord. There's yeah. no secret to that. Uh-huh. So if you have a Discord with a bunch of people on headsets. And again, I think that goes to, like, the governing body, you know, mm. shit like that. They're the ones that have to make the rules to, like, either curve this shit or level the playing field. Or if it's just going to be that way, you know, it might make for more entertainment. I know that it might alienate you two. Right. But, you know, that's something where... And and that's and that's like because I mean even something like that would still be pretty hard to to curb it, mm-hmm. it would like there's not much you can do about yeah. it but it is something that it to me it just makes me seem like bro you have legitimately three other people out of sixty mm-hmm. that you don't have you know you don't have to worry about mm-hmm. that's a refreshing feeling <laughs> it, and again that's something where you know if I mean that if that's a strategy dude more power to them you know yeah I mean. So. I, I guess it's just not fair because, like, in my opinion, being a fan of first-person shooters and playing mm-hmm. since Doom, the original, this is the most balanced online shooter I've ever played. Yeah, and then to have people team up like that it just kind of mm. ruins the experience yeah. a bit. And I you get know? you, and and I see yeah. where that com- that comes from too. But again, then that goes to the like whoever's running this shit, you know, to like yeah. either yeah, I don't step in. There has to be a way to regulate. Yeah, it. I mean, I'm that. pretty sure when it gets to the level of like where you're seeing the shit on ESPN, like mm-hmm. Overwatch and all the other shit. Uh-huh. I think at that point, though, I have more control over the situation. Well, let me ask you this. Like, what what are the stakes right now in these tournaments? Like, are, are these people still playing for, like, five figures, six uh, figures, it, nothing? It's, it's six, bro. Like, and well, you see, okay, now I, you see I that. think it's more so the right now because the rank, the, like, me and him can jump in. If we get to that level, yeah. we'll be seeing these type of people mm-hmm. on a daily basis. Um, and that's how you get noticed because your yeah. name, you'll see winning a lot, blah, yeah, blah, Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll get noticed because um, of the stats and And whatever. that's when you get yeah. picked up by the esports teams and clubs and yeah. shit. Um, in the in that scenario, yeah, there's not much you can do about it. Well, you see, and, you know? and I think then the outrage needs to be amplified because mm. eventually fans like you are going to talk about this. And if shit isn't being done, then like everybody knows that that's going to be like a cheater league or something like that. Especially if you're moving six figure prizes like that around, that's yeah. not a good look, particularly. Yeah. So someone yeah. eventually has to step in if this is something that is not really totally yeah. allowed, you know, or is that it's you know if it's not part of the rules. Now, if it's, 
I'm sorry, if, if it is part of the rules, but they're not enforcing it. That's what I meant to say. Now, if it's not part of the rules, then, you know, I guess that might be part of the entertainment. True. So, All right. True. So, either because we <laughs> – I did not realize we were going to go that hard in that. That's awesome. <laughs> um, so, I do want to definitely hit this this one other thing before the thing you, you definitely wanted to go on. And before we move on from Apex, quick shout-out to uh, – That's right. Scotty, yeah. Lance, and the Reform. Hell, yeah. You guys. Hey. Appreciate y'all. Reform, what up? Um, <laughs> so – the uh, the the Zack Snyder cut. <sighs> Yo, can, I, this is one of the times where I also I I can actually say I love and really hate fans because I love the fact that they were that annoying and that stupid and that pissed that they kept pushing and and he's like no I got that I got that good good uh, he says it was the company here's right. even if you succeed in in showing your vision. Bro, it's not as done. <laughs> like, here's what this here's what this feels like to me. All right, this is like seeing your girlfriend go off, break up with you, and then like fucking go get married, have kids, and everything, and then you hitting her up like seven years later for a hand job. That's what that shit feels like. <laughs> all right, that's what this shit feels like. Like, oh, I love you. Please come back. Just, just, just touch the dick. Just touch the dick. Seriously, that's what this genuinely feels like. Like, yo, this is this has passed. You know, okay. what's wrong in your life if you're coming back seven years for that? I mean, <laughs> dude, that's that's yeah. that's that's Snyder fanboys to most of them, dude. Like, they still like they genuinely think that this cut is gonna like revitalize everything. Right. No, dude. Like, this well, is dude, exactly. if Avengers Endgame got fucked up by studio intervention, you would want the same shit, right? I mean, <laughs> the thing is, is that, and you're right about that, but here's the whole thing. Like, Kevin Feige never would have let it got to that point. Yeah, but they don't have that. They, Zack Snyder completely got cock-blocked. Dude, I honestly, like, yeah. okay, but in Man of Steel, he didn't get cock-blocked, dude, and that shit was still trash. I like. I thought Man of nah. Steel was as good Mm-mm. as a lot of Marvel movies. Dude, that was a Dragon Ball Z movie. That's what that was. Like, um, <laughs> so... I mean, but it's still... Yeah, go ahead though. No, no, well, I, I I agree. It wasn't. I, mean, that, I, 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 I didn't just, hate it. I, maybe I'm not as pat. I'm indifferent to be honest. But. Right? No, I didn't hate it as right, a, as a, it. as a fan of of which one? Man of Steel. You yeah, know, yeah. comic book I didn't movies. Think it was, like great, but like, like that's not bad, compared though. to Marvel, because I mean they've so set the do you standard. Think that yeah. Man of Steel is a better start to DC's universe than say Incredible Hulk, because it was. I agree with that. <laughs> yeah. Which one? The one with the, first one, the one that was the kickoff with the, Eric Bana, the, the Ang Lee one. Yeah, yeah. No, that right. wasn't no, no, the kickoff. No, no, no. Uh, oh, wait, the Edward. Ed, no, Edward Norton was the kickoff. Edward Norton. No, 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 that no. wasn't the kickoff. I like it was that. Iron Man. Well, I mean, it was, but he was, was the modern universe. It was technically. Anyway. Well, look it up. It's, that's technically the kickoff. No, no, the Edward Norton. Mm-mm. I don't sure? think so. Nope. Positive. No, I no, no he's talking Man. about the Eric Bana uh, Hulk. Oh, that piece of shit. No, yeah. no, no, no. Yeah, the angle just kind of like wrote it off, like it's not. Yeah, no, no, I mean, no. It's part it's of just the universe. Like, but, like the thing is, That's is it's part of the universe. But Iron Man came first because at the end, chronologically, at, yeah, yeah, at the oh, end, at the end of of Hulk, you actually see that uh, Tony Stark is talking to to this asshole, the who ends Colonel. up being yeah, yeah Thunderbolt Ross. Yeah, you end up talking. So that was already established that mm-hmm. Iron Man. Was in the timeline. Yeah, this Iron Man was the kickoff, but that was also uh, Edward Norton's Hulk. Yeah, mm-hmm. but which again, was pretty good. I yeah, no, it. that Hulk no, movie was the, the great. Th- and the thing yeah. was is that that movie, mm. the only reason that like they didn't want to fuck with more Edward Norton is because he was too much of a perfectionist. Well, that and he he was saying too that there was some ideas that they he were, wanted yeah, that Hulk was second. He wasn't mm-hmm. a fan, but still know. sucked. Like, nah, <laughs> man, dude, steel. that Hulk was I uh, compared I like compared to the two. To honestly, you, we, it's actually if you're talking starting, it's Iron Man. Iron Man, Iron man tears, great, yeah. Des- yeah, destroys yeah. Man. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. I thought, destroys. I thought it was yeah. right before, but yeah, no. but no, mm-hmm. no. Second. It's Same honestly, I enjoyed it, it, the Hulk more than than Man of Steel. I, I mean, did. dude, Lapalis turd is still a turd, in my opinion, yeah. you know? Like, yeah, there could be something done with the vision and everything like that, dude, but, like, honestly, I'm just tired of seeing Instagram filters on my fucking comic book movies. That's, that's true, too. That's 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 what he was known for, you know? Like, yeah. oh, wow, like, and it was dark and broody. Yeah, that was cool when it was the fucking Watchmen or when it was 300. Oh, it fits the Watchmen perfectly. Yeah, but, right. like, dude, like, that shit got played Yo, out. Like, real talk? Mm. Real talk? Shazam. Love yeah, no, you good. No, no, no. That. but you see, and then see and then once you start to see that there's less creative control behind Zack Snyder, dude, mm. the movies got better. Yeah. Fucking Aquaman, fucking Wonder Woman, True. Shazam, yeah. Joker, you know, and even though Joker's not part of that universe anymore, mm. but like the movies got progressively better, dude. Yeah, and then that's the whole thing to me. Like, oh, we want to see the snack, dude. It's 
you're gonna spend twenty million, reshoot and everything. You probably get Batflick back off the fucking wagon, and they like, make their money back. like <laughs> they have enough of a fan. Base. I mean, they unless honestly, it, a lot of money you back. know, what would be a slick move mm. if if they're smart, which that's not gonna happen. They're not, but they would take Batflick, come back. Do their their fucking Snyder universe. Buy him right? another fucking shot of. But hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You're, <laughs> you're gonna like this next part. All right, you're gonna like this next part. So you got your Snyder universe, and then you'll have your Pattinson universe, mm-hmm. where you have the Battinson. Joker, the Pattinson, the fucking uh, Joaquin Joker Pattinson. I'll be in honest, that I, just, universe. I want them to take that Joker and just have him be his own thing. Own I think if those two off of each other, I think those two could be really good act. together. I think. I think they would destroy them but two I, together. I mean, yes, I, I do think that Joker should have his own universe just because I yeah. like the style yeah. they're going with that. And they, I mean, but why not? They changed. Why not pull your your? Why not put your your triple A's in their own universe and keep the A's in their universe? Yeah. <laughs> Now you see here's I'm just saying. Here's here's my here's And then my. you have Earth like 2 and 3 or whatever cuz that's what DC does. And then maybe once in a while you have a, a crossover. Now I here's think, my I don't think what Pattinson, I don't think what uh, Pattinson get right. Pattinson. We Pattinson. we we we've, we've already called it Pattinson. Pattinson, Pattinson I'm sorry. Pattinson. Pattinson. So, <laughs> yeah, the thing that him and uh, Matt Reeves, I think what they're going to be going for is completely different from what uh Todd Phillips went for with the Joker. Yeah, no, and that's yeah. fine. And, I, and, I don't, and that's I, I think fine. when you start when they would mix it I think it would be a problem. I don't think. I don't think, I don't think, it, would think be, it would. I don't think. It would, I don't know. You don't even. We don't know what it is yet. I mean, I would if if they announce it. I was. I'd be stoked. Don't get me wrong. And I think here's the thing. Like a clear vision. But we we don't but know. As it is, I'm like I don't know. Now, we don't know what it is though. Yeah. You know, it could go think, a lot of different ways. And I think ways. this is this is a laughter too behind all this other shit. Back when all this started, all right, mm. DC said that they were going to take a different approach to like. Dude, for look, I will con- I will concede and I will admit that I was one of the first people that I actually got nervous hmm. when Man of Steel before Man of Steel dropped when it was going to happen because they were going to say oh they, they well they they were going to take it they were going to te- take some of the elements of Marvel and everything I was generally I was like wow this might actually beat Marvel and I was I had my bias with that I have no admit I right. have no problem admitting that but the thing is is I was like if it's going to be good it's going to be good hmm. and then I saw fucking Man of Steel dude and I was like wow what is this yeah. now. The thing is, is that then I read more into it, and then they said, oh, no, well, we're not going to do anything for Marvel's more formula and everything like that. Bless their hearts. Bless their dumbass hearts for trying <laughs> something different. But the thing is, is that it failed spectacularly. Right, right. Like, horribly, dude. The, like, think about this, dude. Opening weekend for Endgame, or was it for Infinity War? I don't hmm. know which one. Opening week weekend. That the entire fucking run of Justice League. Yeah, think about that, yeah, bro. But if that's your barometer for what's good, then like McDonald's would be fucking the best food in the world. Like some people think that, dude. <laughs> like, some people think that, but the thing is, is that I also have the credits backing me up, dude. You know, yeah, I mean, they got and, oh, in game got credit love, and they should have. I loved in game, and and but, but again, you see, like that's it. There, there was nothing wrong with DC copying uh, Marvel's formula. Right, but no, they wanted to do it different and everything. All right, cool, man. But like, you spent if, all this fucking honestly, money and you took the you took the major L on. It, it felt like that was the problem was that they were too much like we're gonna follow the coattails and it wasn't enough them being themselves. Mm, no, I think it's the other way around, dude. Because well, that whole no joke policy that was a fucking stupid idea. Yeah, yeah was that was stupid. dumb yeah. as fuck, dude. Like, oh, what do you mean no make jokes? There were jokes. In no Justice joke. League. No jokes. Policy? Yeah, yeah. The whole were, movie was there a were joke. jokes in Justice League. Fact. They were okay, but they that were, was they that were, was <laughs> after the damage was done, dude. Right. Like honestly, they weren't trying to have the one liner because it was because you. Look at you. Look at you. Look at uh, it was in the trailers. Bro. You look terrible. at uh, Donna Justice, <laughs> and you look at Man of Steel. Mm. All, all broody, all dark, all no jokes. And then, like after they fe- after they figured out that they took two massive L's on that, they're like, mm. okay, we're gonna tweak it. And that's what happened, dude. Like it was by this time, it was already done, dude. The damage was done. Like they were already trying to like figure out how they can fucking fix this. Hell, mm. they even brought. They brought what's his? Oh my God, Josh, Josh Whedon. Whedon. They yeah. brought him in, dude. And even he couldn't <laughs> save that dumpster fire, man. That's why. That's why. Yeah. That's why yeah. He's awesome. Going on. He, he, he he couldn't save that dumpster fire, man. I mean, this died worse than fucking Bruce Wayne's parents, dude. Like, oh. <laughs> but I'll be honest. Like, there's. I mean, a lot of times people people get up in arms about like how just how terrible Justice League was or this yeah. and that, and I'm like, it ain't that much worse. I, maybe I, I I just fail to see what makes Marvel so much better. I don't necessarily like either one, mm-hmm. but like in my mind, I'm like they're not really. It's like somebody preferring Burger King over McDonald's. 
Mm. Shout out to the Whopper. <laughs> the Whopper is I mean, <laughs> yeah, Whopper Marvel over. is winning. I will say that. But. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, but in and, my mind, and here's and here's a whole thing. In my thing. mind, I'm literally and, like, I don't know how people get passionate. As well, and so. well, I'm this, just like kind of indifferent. And now here's the whole thing. To me, and I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you yeah. off, man. Like everybody thinks that I'm I'm a DC hater. No, mm. like, dude, like I was I was in the chat, like, fucking, dude. The by the way, y'all need to check out the Harley Quinn cartoon. That shit is. Bananas but the cartoons and it's have fucking always brilliant. been better than the movies, though. Exa- and and that's the whole thing, dude. Not even even the TV shows have been yeah, better dude, than the movies. Animated series, yeah, better. Yeah, anime things anime are great. Yeah, yeah, and then like, dude, and to me, Hot. that's that's so fucking beautiful. Like, dude, and the thing is, is before, like, I genuinely, dude, I actually rooted for Suicide Squad before it dropped. Yeah, dropped because my we friend, all did. My yeah. friend, I told people give Jared Leto the benefit of the doubt. Right, dude, I, yeah, dude, yeah, I, I was too. Dude, I was like, one of those, and I was like, how quickly did you eat those words? I was even telling my homie Adam. Yeah, I was even it my was other so fellow bad. Ginger Ninja. I was like, bro, Suicide Squad is gonna be their Guardians of the Galaxy, and I was excited about it. Yeah. <laughs> oh my that god, on, dude. Oh. But no, no and the thing I, that I haven't pisses, that hard in a minute. The thing that pisses me <laughs> off the worst, dude, is that I actually read the comic books yeah. before I watched the movie, and I was like, yo, if this has an inkling yeah. of what I read in those comic books, it's gonna be fucking great. Nope. No. Took that massive L, dude. No. Dude, massive I, remember, L. I remember my disappointment walking out of Suicide Squad. Like, dude, yeah, what I agree. Was that? But no, the, 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 <laughs> here's here's the thing, and then we gotta we gotta. And I like the director these. too. David Ayer ain't bad. Yeah. Oh I mean, no, dude, and he he ate his words because he's like, fuck Marvel, fucking Infinity War drop. Bam. He had to apologize. But no, I'll, 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 I'm going to... Let me... Uh, I, don't, I don't know what shot of the movie he was like being so confident in. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm saying, man. I'm like, dude, what is going... Because he made some good movies, man. Well, yeah. He's not like that's a... That's disappointing. Uh, it's like, what, dude? But anyway, yeah, let me, that was one of the worst comedy movies Let me Let me break it down for you real quick. So the reason <laughs> why it is ultimately overall better, because... So far, as you've seen, the majority of the the DC movies, they don't have a genre to fit in besides it's a comic book movie. Like, at least with Marvel, they have tried consistently putting it in Make a it genre. a different genre, yeah. Yeah. Right. Like, Captain America was their period piece. You know, they stuck... The Winter close. Soldier was a spy thriller. You know, the, they have... Um, they started doing it, like y'all said, though, with Wonder Wonder Woman. Did well, time, well even that. Wonder Woman, yeah. It, it was, yeah. It was pretty much their, then, their uh, Captain America. Mm-hmm. It was actually really yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I, I like Wonder Woman. Dude, outside and then of the Aquaman last was act, their Thor. Outside of the last act, I thought Wonder Woman was one of the best comic book movies. Even the, the last act, act, even the last act, act could good. be held up, you it know? Was, like, but, mm-hmm. like, it wasn't what it could have been. I was kind of disappointed, but... I, I think they can the first two acts. I was by the way, um, if any of y'all watching, you all need to watch the GIF or the video of Gal Gadot thirsting over Chris Pine. Oh, I've seen it. Dude, what, like, what are in their interviews? Yeah, and they're in they're their doing, interviews. They're doing the press like, junkets. Dude, like yeah. you just see her eyes wandering, <laughs> her lip bite. She's and like, then she's like, mm. and then she catches herself. She's like, whoa, no, I'm on, I'm on TV. Holy shit! Like, yeah, classic. <laughs> dude, I remember that, check shit. that shit out. You know what? I'll no, post it on the there. show's page. It's out there. Trust me. I um, saw it too. I was laughing. But yeah, that's that's why people prefer it. At least that's my opinion. Um, I think it's a, a solid overall. Shazam consensus. was a little bit of a yeah, and that's what I'm saying. Bit, yeah. The more recent ones have definitely found a little bit of a niche in a sense. If you want to have fun, but, take Big, watch mm-hmm. Big with Tom Hanks, uh-huh. and then watch Shazam right now, after, and, and you'll be like, holy shit. And you was, see, here's the other thing. so dude, much like, from Big. Fun dude. fact, that's the actual great. sequel to Big. <laughs> it's pretty much, exactly, dude. <laughs> now, like, you see great. the cardinal sin that DC did that everybody like DC WB was give Zack Snyder the keys to the entire fucking empire, in my opinion. <laughs> That's what it is, dude. Don't get me dude, wrong. Like, he's, a, he's a great a cinematographer. <laughs> he's a great. He's a great cinematographer. But as a director, dude, like, yo, your fucking time ended when Watchmen. Done. You should stick to producing. Yeah, yeah, he, or, or even cinematography. Because well, I, don't rather, mind, yeah. I don't mind. I don't mind cinematography. Because no, no, he's is, really is, good. At and that. I remember you telling me this. All right, I remember you telling me that. Oh, the guy that did the cinematography for the Dark Knight trilogy was going to be the one holding shit down from now on at mm. the DC universe. And for a second, I was like, wow. Holy shit, this might actually be good, bro. That motherfucker made a liar out of me. And then he made <laughs> Sucker Punch. Yes, he did. <laughs> Everybody forgets that, oh, Zack Snyder's a good director. Sucker Punch. Right. I bought into that. I got I got suckered into that, dude. Jesus. I got sucker punched into that. I thought it was Wally that. Fitz was the director or the cinematographer for the DP for uh, the Dark Knight trilogy, right? Mm. I don't know. You told me no, that Zack Snyder. I was just saying, like, I thought he was a good cinematographer. I didn't think he did the Dark Knight trilogy. I thought you told me he Dark did. Dark Knight trilogy was Wally Fitzer. That's 
uh, and he made his own movie. I can't remember what it was called. Uh, the one that was about nine eleven. It was like super dark, and people were like, "It was too dark," and it was like three hours. Oh god, what the fuck it was. I don't remember what it was, but it was like literally about a kid whose mom died or something. Oh like, yeah, what? I know what you're talking about. Yeah, what was it? And then and like, he like, went, he went looking for like he was, uh, he was looking for something with his dad. Yeah, oh. and his dad's the sure one that died. I remember that was cold. Directorial debut. Wasn't the one? Was that Tom Hanks in the movie? No, nah. there was somebody in that movie. It's not. Were you talking about Rain Over Me? Yeah, no, no that was that's Adam Sandler, Sandler, which was yeah. actually pretty this good. Was, like, yeah. I was that was the recent. I was one. like, yeah, no, because I was like nine eleven, yes, and I was like, no, it's not. <laughs> yeah, no, but no, um, yeah, no. I mean, yeah, give the fans what they want, dude. But I'm still gonna laugh. Like, this is still not gonna be as great. Like at this yeah. point, I think. Zack Snyder fans, they just want to be like, oh, you see, I told you he can direct. And dude, I don't I'm even sorry, think like, it's Zack Snyder it's fans as more so as it is DC fans. No, it's definitely... Dude, I think it's more DC because fans. Because when, get on, when, I, when I get on to... When I was able to get on to Facebook, fuck you, Zuckerberg, free to homie. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> um, and I would talk shit about Zack Snyder, bro. You would see some of these fucking fanboys get in their feelings about it, dude. Yeah. Like... Hardcore, just because they're like, "Oh well, fuck you, man. What are you a fucking Marvel fanboy?" Like, "Fuck you, dude." They made they dude. went after my name and they called me a pirate just because they were that sensitive about it, dude. Why can't, I'll always why have a can't little... you like both? I just don't understand that. Like either I, or. Dude, I love them it's both. So stupid. Uh, no, and that's the whole thing. Like a lot of oh well, what are you a Marvel? No, dude, I love DC, and I, I think that's what pisses me off most, dude. Yeah. That like they gave him all this free reign and he did absolute shit with it. Yeah, my thing like, with DC I like love... Nintendo, but I can't like Xbox. You know, right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's how Stupid. I feel too. I'm like, dude, just what? What's a good movie? Is a good you movie. You can be fanboy yeah. for one. I honestly you can feel like, like DC has yeah, exactly. the more quality films, just less often. Like it's like like you have like <laughs> shit. You have sh- you have shit here and there, and all of a sudden you have like Dark Knight, or you have fucking Joker, Joker, or like whatever. And they're like masterpieces. Yeah, like, dude. Fuck. But the thing is, is that then, I don't like, want to watch. But I feel like Marvel is like a st- streamline of pretty good above average. Like, and like, I'll take above feel. average instead of but waiting Endgame for shit for finding. Endgame was great though. And M-game, uh, M-game is where they went. Like, Woo. dude, and Infinity War. Yeah, and Infinity oh, yeah. War. Yeah. Dude, Infinity War. <laughs> my God, bro. I don't to get into it, but. Hot, no. Hot We're going to get into it real quick. Hot actually, take. no. Hold on. <laughs> We're going to get into it real quick. Dude, at the end of fucking <laughs> Infinity War, <laughs> the <laughs> bad George guy won. is chilling like, yeah. Having some broth. Like, yeah, yo! As if nobody knows what's coming next. Either way, though, <laughs> the fact of the matter is, is they literally that just signed Thor, you had, head off. Movie. Dude, you had people Tommy, Tommy speculating him, Tommy Stark. for, what, Tommy over Stark. a year almost? <laughs> Tommy Stark. Yeah. No, it was like Tommy a year. Tommy Stark, Wayne. No. It was a year. <laughs> <laughs> a year, motherfucker. Yo, that's going to be a crossover. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come I on, bro. When Spider-Man died? That was my problem. Was I? I just read a week earlier they're making a new Spider Man. Yeah, like <laughs> <laughs> I was like, no, don't get me wrong, dude. Like, <laughs> like, dude, this shit was unprecedented. It literally had no effect on the emotion to, because to, of that. To, like, of to, course, to no, defense. no, I get it. I fucking get it. Of and course, I know he's going to come film. back. It's not the fault of the But film, if guess, you're sitting but, here basing it off of that, like that's that's not a that. fair judgment. But dude, it, t- yeah. Okay, look, here's my thing. All right, and to Bigger's defense, look, okay. Fucking seeing the kid die, the rookie, it fucking killed me. Especially because like at like during the trailer, you you even see Tony Stark go, "Okay, you're an Avenger now," and I was like, "Dude, that fucking like warmed yeah. my heart like three times over." But then like seeing fucking Tony Stark die over fucking Peter Parker, well yeah, that shit fucked me course. up. The funeral, dude. but I like, feel like uh, he's. Dude, I, tried I just watching, feel like no, no, no. I feel like he's. Dude, just I tried watching the funeral two weeks ago uh, and I started to cry War. again. <laughs> <laughs> like that's still too soon. Yeah. <laughs> like that's my thing. I just feel like he's discounting Infinity War. Mm-mm. That's I'm why not, I feel like no, 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 no. With those movies and, and Avengers, the first Avengers especially, mm-hmm. I felt like there was too much characters. And not enough time spent with them. It was more like a hodgepodge. But did yeah. you watch I, I all the I movies? I never felt. I did. I watched every See, single. I can't. One. I, I can't. All, do, I can't fact, agree I'll with do that. One better. I've seen all of them in the theater. Right. Like I've never even missed one in the. But theater. But that's what I'm saying. How can I mean, how can I'm you not, say not that miss, they weren't developed buff. though? They weren't that well developed. I didn't think not in those movies in particular. I don't like the like. Look, I have like a thing. Same thing. He, the way I like my Batman is outside of away from Justice League. That's just the way it is. Right, right. But because you get the because you work on. alone, Big Red. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have. To. Well, it's, not even, it's not even that I don't like the others, but like I like Wonder Woman as like her own. Right, story. right. No, 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 no. Yeah. I get when, that. when everything but, comes together, like Justice League, I felt the same way about but Avengers. It's, it's still the, the, Avengers, the, I'm like, the there's fact. too much. Like you, you, you know, ten minutes you spend with this character, tops, tops. And then, like, you go over here and you got, like, you know, five to ten minutes with this well, character. And, like, no, it doesn't, my, my, it doesn't feel, like, totally fleshed out. I'm a character person. 
Right, so but like, they had, see that, they all like, had feature, a character, character. They all had yeah. feature yeah. films. It's not a fault of the film, dude. It's like they did what they could with what they had. But they sure. had feature films. I That's my did. thing. How can you say they didn't develop but the characters? I'm talking about those movies, like Avengers. The Avengers of Temples. He's talking about the Temples. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They weren't. That's not my thing. How? It's just not my thing. No, no, I get that. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's not because I'm. How is it not your thing? I get that. I get that it's not your thing. But I'm saying. I like what I like. No. Damn it. Like, no. I don't like Big Macs, bro. I'm sorry. Uh, damn it. I just I like told Whopper. you I was a Whopper man. Like fucking Whoppers. shit. That's <laughs> not what I'm saying. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I just said, for what they had to work with, it's not bad. It's just not my thing. I, I'm what, not either. What, what, As he yells into the mic. <laughs> <laughs> because why? <laughs> we all love you, Bo. This is God, a safe space. It, man. I mean, I, I'm I, not. I, I'm, a, I'm a big character study dude, and I've always have been. Not that they have to be a character study. The Batmans aren't. The Dark Knights aren't. The Dark Knight trilogy isn't. But it's like, I like the fact that you spend so much time with that character that when something pops off, you feel it more. There's more of an emotional pull for me. Okay, like, so I think I have a common ground for both of y'all. All right? And hear there's me out thematic it. things going hear, on that you hear cannot me out, do all right? between movies. You Infinity have to War, all right, when Thor loses everything, all right? And he has that conversation with Rocket. Like, dude, actually, no, fuck that. The whole arc between Infinity War and Thor, I think, has to be one of the most substantial ones. And here's why. In Infinity War, he loses his brother. He loses his world. He loses his home. He loses his best friend. Like, he tells Rocket all this. He somehow has to build himself up to go fucking get Stormbreaker and almost fucks Thor, uh, fucks Thanos up, right? Yeah. And, then, and the thing is, is that it fucked him up that he didn't. Like, you saw that, because then you see him in Infinity War, he's like this fat, he's Beer Thor. You know, he's Beer Thor, <laughs> you know? He's, uh, Which was funny. That was funny. And, and, one of the most touching, and one of the most touching things is when he goes back in time. Yeah, he's still and he, worthy. And he, and he reaches for Majolner, and he, he cries, dude. He's like, I'm still worthy. Dude, that, that character arc, because yeah. it shows, like, yeah, personal like loss. game, dude, it took Endgame for everything to come together in a great, cohesive way for me. But even in Infinity and, like, War, do you not think that that, like, because even then a he's like he's, he's talking himself out yeah. of it with like raccoon he's like he's like oh well he's like i killed my sister i just watched my brother die i watched my best friend die i watched my world die like he's telling him all these things and like to me that character arc and yes it took endgame to like fucking finally see it brings him, everything together to bring him at peace and to be like, honest without all those movies too mm -hmm. it makes the impact of everything like when everything does come together it's mm -hmm. that much more important mm -hmm. because it's like dude all the what is it I'm total guess like 27 films or something like that. 21. 21. I think so. Don't Dude, hold but me like, to that. It, it's like all those. Yeah. It's like a lot. Yeah. Like all yeah. like every character put together like and everything came together in a perfect cohesive way, and like it's so it's even more impactful because it's like fuck. It's like the catharsis you've been waiting for. Yeah, and and like for me, like it's like I felt like most of the Marvel movies were like bridges to the next one a lot of times, and they would even have those like end credit scenes, which I'm not a fan of to be honest. Like they, they mm. feel like they were gimmicky at a mm -hmm. point. And, uh, but, dude, like I said, like, it's just, it's one of those things where it's like, that's not for me. Mm -hmm. But I understand mm -hmm. why people like it. Mm. Now, like, I'm not, I'm not like bashing it. No, yeah. it's totally like, good. Yeah. yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> so, does that come into a middle no, ground no. for Putin? Like, yeah. Or no? I, I get that. And that's cool. <laughs> that's just how I felt. Man. Yeah. That's just, like, <laughs> and I get that. And <laughs> that's why. I'm I'm talking no about my feelings. I have no, no problem with intro at all. I'm in my feelings. All I had an issue with, look, all I had an issue with. Was that you said there was no character development be the, the not first no character development no, no, but the, minimal to the yeah. first Avengers? There's some like they had beats, legit like, their own films. Mm -hmm. Like that's that's a good way to get to know. A character. No, I like the individual film. Like I like I like you know? the Iron Man films, like the Captain America films. Mm -hmm. I feel like those it's important that those were good mm -hmm. to make the fi the finale yeah. even better. But, oh yeah, yeah. But I'm just saying there was like, outside of that. I, wasn't, I think just in a generalized term, not just a preference. Just yeah. a generalized, like, was there actual character development? Oh, for sure. For over the time the of first like Avengers? twenty whatever movies. Well, just the first Avengers, <laughs> the very first one, like the one that popped off. Like, oh shit, they're really. I'll be honest, I, I saw. I watched Avengers one time, mm. and uh, so I, I can't really go back and like. But it's just more so the films prior, like the yeah. Iron Man one and two, and fucking Iron Captain Man, America. Fucking, dude, I love Iron Man. He knows no, this. I love Iron Man, dude. Yeah, like the first Iron Man, like <laughs> incredible, especially for the time. Dude, when you go yes. back when you go back to what was going on right at that moment, mm. and for that to come out like that, and Robert Downey revive his career and all that, everything put together, and he was like the Dude, perfect Tony Stark. I read something where John Favreau went to bat with yeah. him in front yeah. of Paramount and everybody was like, 
this is who I need. Yeah, yep. like because he is Tony Stark. Yeah, dude, and Facts. the thing, and like, no, dude, I think there's nobody and, else. Can play and that. I think, and I think that's what it, it may be unfortunate, but like a lot of these actors, they're not going to shake this off. Like yeah. to me, Chris, Chris Hemsworth is always going to be Thor. Yeah, yeah Chris yeah. Evans, guess what? Always Captain America. Mm. You know, Ruffalo. Sorry, man, you're the Hulk now. Like these people had pre-established careers before that. Do y'all like but, the fact that they merged his like they made him Smart Hulk? Yeah, yeah. You yeah. like that? Yeah, because, because, well, it's part of the comic. Yeah, it is part yeah. of the it comic. Is? Yes, yeah. it is. Yes, oh, it is. Shit. Yeah. Now and then that leads me to other points. That, and that's their biggest, more. strongest point too. Is that and that the fact that they're going to bring Henry Cavill back? Mm. As the DC guy, as like Superman, mm. but but believe it or not, they're gonna use him in the fucking way that they that uh they use the Hulk, where he's just like an ancillary character, or I'm sorry, a peripheral character mm. to those movies. Look at Bigger, he's like what? No, unbelievable. I don't know. I haven't heard it. Preposterous. I'm literally, I'm literally doing this in my beard. <laughs> <laughs> no, you have beards. Cavill's like coming back. Yeah, really but he, wow. and yeah. they're saying that they're gonna use him the way that Hulk was used. And Ragnarok and all these other, like, mm. as in a peripheral character. Yeah. Which might actually, actually be the best move. it does make sense. Yeah. Dude, I just saw that. Yeah, I know. It actually <laughs> does make sense, though. It's like, okay, but I, I, but, dude, I just want them to do Superman right once. Actually, I think, I thought Superman Returns was close. That was the closest, but yeah, yeah. quite frankly, I think, and it's, it's a risky move, but I'm just, like, Henry Keller was done with it, dude. He's like, I'm done. Like, dude, I think, like, it just sucks because... Fucking Zack Snyder was like fucking Bridget Nielsen for a lot of these people. They just ended their careers with DC. <laughs> well, dude, it's really and like, like going to the back, to back. The, going to the source material. It's really really hard to make a Superman movie that and, people that people actually enjoy because like there's and, a lot of things you gotta and accept. The is, like and the, the fact is, he just puts his glasses on, and he's not Superman. And the thing yeah, is, like, <laughs> it's not believable anymore. But like, yeah, the yeah, thing, yeah, yeah. dude, like, how great would it be if that was like the running joke? Mm. You know, be, like I mean, if, yeah, if, 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 they, if they just ran with it and they made fun of it, you know, like the thing is, is that DC and like WB, they're like, oh, no, no, no. He's one right. of our he's one of our anchor characters. We can't mock him like that. Dude, fucking Marvel, because guess what? Thor was is an ancillary character. He is one of the founders of the Avengers. Mm-hmm. They're like and they looked at uh, Waititi and they're like, you want to do what with him? Yeah, and they're dude, like, you, you know what? Love fucking his stuff, send it. Way. Send it. They're huh? like, just send I it. Love and then Taika Waki- it Waki- Waki- fucking is worked. Awesome. Have you seen Jojo Rabbit? Gotta yes. see that. Dude, it's incredible. So yeah. funny. Dude, it's incredible. The yeah. one, but, when he did the vampires and in the shadows. I haven't seen it. I, I still haven't seen but, it in the shadows. But again, but, you know, this might be the smart move. And if they and if they can line this thing up, because now, guess what? You're using one of your main characters as a funny guy. Fucking send it, dude. It might yeah. work. What's the worst that, you, dude? You've already taken Massavels, lost fucking yeah. billions of dollars. But it's like, you know what? Just roll dude, with when, it. Dude, when his name is Superman and mm-hmm. he's like the first, he's the first superhero. Yeah, it's hard to it, like. Not in their defense, mm. but honestly, like if I was a studio head and I'm looking at it, I, like it would be really hard to be like, let's make him a joke, because like, <sighs> you know how this works. It's really hard. You know how this works. Yeah. Huh. Saitama. Saitama already did it, dude. Facts. Yeah. yeah Saitama already did it, dude, but so he, it can but, work. But, but, but Superman's kind of not Saitama. Saitama. After Superman too, What's up? Yeah, yeah, Saitama was but modeled Superman, after Superman. Superman's an, but he's an established... Superman's established, man. Mm-hmm. And he's never been a joke. It's like... And, dude, the thing is, is that he I, doesn't have to be to a certain degree. Like, he could still fight for justice and everything like that. But, like, yeah. he's like... Oh wow! Like, like you know, like say someone knows him. Like say someone at fucking at the Fortress of Solitude's giving him shit. He's like, oh wow, how stupid are like how stupid are these people? Oh, let me put my glasses on. No one's gonna know who I am. Like yeah, shit like that. That thing, would get yeah. people laughing. You know, throw like, a of laughter. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know. So I, mean, I get it, but it's like I, I feel like honestly, I don't know if the, I, I think it's really hard to make a Superman movie that would work. That's and and that's one agree. of the reasons why I think they're going to start using him as a peripheral character from that reason. That would probably work. I mean, you know? it could I work, think so. Yeah, yeah. No, because like the way that they looked, yeah. at, the way that they saw Captain Marvel at first, where she's kind of like off doing her own, they can yeah. really do that kind of thing. Yeah, mm-hmm. until yeah. she gets her sequel, which is it's like Superman's slated. doing bigger, better things. Big things I want. But uh, no, dude. Like maybe it'll make a liar out of me, dude. But I'm just done with Snyder. Like. I was happy with fucking Aquaman. I was happy with fucking Wonder Woman. I was happy with Joker. Like, why well, are we going back to being? I wasn't this happy with Aquaman. Stories that we'll always have the watch. Really? Movie. Yeah. <laughs> I enjoy. It. I feel like Aquaman leaned into the Marvel thing. Yeah, and I'll it always did. have Sucker yeah. Punch. Eat a dick, Zach. <laughs> sucker Punch. All right, we uh, we are fucking. That was a tangent right there. Yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> uh, let's get into these fucking reviews. Uh, we're gonna start with Extraction. Hey, Speaking before we do a review. Thor, 
I got What's a gift this? for you for your brief day. Aww. What is this? Aww. It's uh, Aww. you're the one that brought it all together. I had to do it, man. Yo, On behalf of myself no, you and, and oh, Yuri nice. yourself. Wait a second. Doesn't he already have a shirt? Yes, I do. You have that shirt? <laughs> <laughs> no way! <laughs> <laughs> yep. Hey, man, it's the thought that counts. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he even wore that Swing one. Swing and a miss. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he did, yeah. Fuck! Dude, that is your shirt. Dude, you should have consulted awesome, with man. me. This is your short-term memory loss working. But you got the stickers. You got those new stickers. Got the stickers. <laughs> <laughs> this is your short-term memory loss. Hey, man, when well, you have a new out, one, you put that one on, all right? <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Big Red, yo. Hey, 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 hey round hey, of applause hey, for Big Red. You know what? I feel bad. I feel. I feel good for knowing you. <laughs> I'll take it as a compliment. Like, yo, hold up. Let me read this. The die sublimination printing process creates slight imperfections over seams and or folds and are unique and a part of each item. Mm. Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Por qué? Por qué, grande Why? Why? Por qué? Like pretty unnecessary <laughs> Why did you feel this is necessary? <laughs> Thank you, though. Thank you so no much. No problem, man. I really do appreciate it. <laughs> I promise you, I do. I like I said, like, just stash that away until the other shirt wears out. Like get, oh, a hole, yeah. get a hole in it or something, and you got you got the shirt for life, basically. You know who got me the other one? Who the? That guy. Dude, hey. me and Serge are on the same page, man. Yeah. <laughs> Great minds. Great Dude, I saw minds. that shirt. I almost bought it for myself, and I was like, nah, Bo needs this. Nah, man. Hey. That's, when I bought, that's when I bought my uh, Michael Myers shirt. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh shit. I, I think you wore that like an episode or two ago. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you though. I still appreciate it. Yeah, of course, man. So uh, we had a lot right. of birthdays this month. We have the rest of those. We'll for get the something. for the fans. Uh, I started this off. Uh, he did. Uh, please and thank you. I started and, this uh, off this month. Yep. And then it was Chuck. Chuckles. Uh, his birthday was the week after, and then mine. Bo Diddley Dinks was on the and Deuce Deuce, guy. and then Deuce Six. This Happy birthday, brother. Funny. Sorry I couldn't make it, man. Oh, no, you're fine, dude. <laughs> By the way, fuck HCC. Bastards. Oh. Fucking bastards. At least I got my money back, bro, but I wanted to keep moving, and they're like, no, I had to drop my fucking classes. Hooray. Jesus Fuck Christ. you, HCC. <sighs> All right, but yeah. I'm, I'm angry today, evidently. <laughs> so I'd be angry about that. Uh, speaking of Thor, <laughs> hey. uh, Extraction uh, was uh, picked by me. Uh, Why don't you lead us off, Bodings? Yo, the movie was actually pretty good, surprisingly. Yeah. Um, Extraction is uh, very simple. Honestly, I'm going to put it this way. If you like your old school Rambos and your Commandos and all the old school action 80s flicks like where bang, bang, there's up. minimal story and it's just cohesive enough to where you're like, eh, it was fun. That's what you're getting with Extraction. Uh, uh, Chris Hemsworth, a.k.a. Thor, plays uh, uh, Tyler, who is a mercenary. And um, as the name of the sh- uh, movie indicates, it's an extraction. He has to extract a uh, particular individual, um, which is a child. And um, son of a gang bang. It's pretty fucking crazy. <laughs> Drug dealer, actually. I son honestly got to say, um, wow, some of the shots. There is one that I know for sure is a full uh, one shot. Uh, situation where it's no, there's no cuts. Um, the Ben scene, I believe so. The, the the start of the chase scene. Yeah, the Ben scene. Yeah, the chase okay. into the building, up the stairs, to the roof, comes back down, knife fight, all truck. That. I didn't know those <laughs> truck. Shot. Yeah. One shot. <laughs> Exit. <laughs> one shot. That's all. Oh um, dude, I was nutting the whole time. That you was were, that was one have. of you the. You know I was. You're, you're one of those one shot <laughs> motherfuckers. Like, oh, one shot. Oh, oh yeah. I was like, oh, it's, yeah. been, it's, been, it's been two yeah. minutes. Yeah. And right. his girlfriend's like, you won't even touch me. <laughs> I was like, it's been two minutes. Oh shit. <laughs> his girlfriend's like, I'm right here. He's like, no. Like, four happen. minutes. Like, four minutes. Seven. Five, five, five eight minutes. Like, I was like, ah, everywhere. Do you realize there's not been a single cut? Not one fucking cut right now. You're not Chris Hemsworth. <laughs> Blue eyes. <laughs> um, but no. Seriously though, honestly, from front to back, it's actually a pretty solid movie. Like, I, again, it's not like holy shit, like award winning and da da da. Like, but honestly, that shot worthy as fuck. Uh, the overall tone, the pacing. Like it was good. It was a solid flick. I can't complain. You know what? I think, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a new label on this. You know what this is? This is Netflix fodder. You Netflix know what? Fodder. Like it's, it's, it's not. It's 
You call it's fodder good as if and real quick, like, um, shout what? out to Scotty. He was actually watching. I hey. just now saw the comments because I'm lazy. Um, I wouldn't call it. Okay, and Lily, so what up to you? Maybe not fodder, but like uh, buffet. <laughs> right. Okay, you know because like you know it's like it wouldn't have made sense for this movie to get the promotion and worldwide release mm. like in box office or anything like that. Mm. Even though the Russos had a hand behind this, right? Chris Hemsworth, you know, like I think what it was is that like they're like you know what. We can work this somewhere else. And you know what? It's just good enough where, like, people in Netflix are like, I paid eleven ninety nine a month for this shit. Mm. But it's like, you know, you wouldn't be pissed off going to a theater and pay, yo, I paid $17 yep. for that. Right, right. You know, right. like. But they actually shot it, and the stunt work and the action was way better than what the material asked for. And yeah. you know why? Yeah. crazy. And yeah. you know why? Because, believe it or not, I did a little research after watching the movie. And if I'm not mistaken, the guy who directed the movie he, he was, was a stunt coordinator. Or, he was a yeah. stunt coordinator stunt for the even. for the Russos. Yeah. So like, homie knows his fucking homework. Right. Yeah. So that's why that movie was so well shot out, and like, yeah. you see like things that you normally don't see in an action movie because oh, I gotta send y'all. I watched guy. YouTube videos about how they shot that one take scene. Really, okay. dude. Yeah, send that. It's next level. It's yeah. incredible. So, really. so fuck. sorry, I didn't mean to cut so, you off. No, it, no, it's no, both, you're it's good. Both, uh, so ex- ex- extraction again, Chris Hemsworth. Uh, so again, we spoil things because we don't care, um, and especially this. This has been out for a few weeks now. Um, it's on Netflix, but um, you know he gets hired to uh, extract a child who's been kidnapped by some uh, drug <laughs> cartels in India. From India to Bangladesh, and then bring him back from there Bangladesh to India. Thank right. you. Um, and uh, you know, honestly, yeah, he's Thor <laughs> a little bit. Um, <laughs> Except he has his actual accent in this movie. Right. Mm-hmm. And also, like, he definitely is a little more grittier in a sense. Yeah. Um, He's got a backstory. Like, yeah. Nowadays, people have backstories as opposed to one liners. Right. And, <laughs> like, you know, in the action movie. Funny, movies. but it's true, dude. It's right. Funny, but it's true. <laughs> exactly. And, and, and that's, that's the evolution the of, of, the action action, of the action flicks, you know, like. My child was killed. It went from one liners <laughs> to. My child's been killed. My wife has been killed. My car's been stolen. My dog has been killed. Yeah. Like, um, shout out to John Ford. Wick. I love John Wick. Where's my family? John Wick's right. Best. We got to do all three of those. Hey, hey, uh, Taken. Yeah. Uh, Where's my daughter? Right. Where's my Where's wife? Um, I'm a CIA agent. <laughs> you know, back in the day, it was literally, I'll be back. Like, you didn't have no fucking yeah. backstory. He's, no. you know, he's protecting a kid. But it, it, honestly, <laughs> I was really surprised at how much. 